You know, they were trying to go after a lot of different horror icons. I got involved because I got a call from the producer that I actually know saying, we want to get a hold of your dad. We want your dad to perform a little part in the film. And I'm like, okay. That whole thing, you know, worked its course. And, of course, in the meantime, I'm always saying, can I do the music? Can I do the music? Yeah. Uh, let me know if it ever happens. Um, the film actually stars Michael Dorn, who plays Worf in the Star Trek Next Generation series. Okay. And then Bill Mosley, who was very famous for the Rob Zombie House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Rejects, who I believe um, they're now crediting him as a part in the new Halloween film. Um, and then Adrian Curry, who's married to Christopher Knight, Peter Brady, they are actually a little part in it. But it's gotten so much buzz, it is written and directed by Jeff Thomas, and he had done a little feature before this called 13 Seconds. And that kind of started getting people's attention with this guy. And then he developed this whole fallen angel. It's an absolutely great story. It's, it's, I guess, I don't know if I'm the one to title the genre, but it really is a suspense thriller. It's not a slasher. It's a very thought-provoking, uh, very beautifully shot. They shot the film primarily in the Ohio Reformatory that was used in the Shawshank Redemption movie. Okay. And so this film, even though it has not been released at this point, it, it has won several awards already, and I was able to get my hands on an opening scene and get a hold of the director at a time that the composer job was very available and very needed to fill, and I gave him five minutes of my interpretation of the opening from what he sent me, and I got the job, and I have had an absolute blast putting my signature on this thing, um, going back and forth with finalizing every every ounce of everything with Jeff, and just making it awesome. And uh, now you you put together your your do or not documentary. You put together a a demo, a three minute thirty second demo of material that you've done. Yeah, I mean, what what a lot of times I think a composer can do, or just a musician in general, is when you're trying to get the attention of somebody, it's nice if you can give them somewhat something organized, but I think that everything I had read and heard, the goal was, let me get to you quickly, let me not let you get bored. Let me throw different things at you in a short amount of time so that you can really get a feel for what I can do and I had to somehow assemble, out of all the tracks I've done, try and give a variety, try and give some, you know, beginning, middle, and end to a, to a cue of music, which is actually kind of tough. And I had always wanted to keep my demos like that very short and very sweet. And my primary goal for that is because it's uploaded on my website, the last thing I really need or want is for it to be ridiculously slow because it's so long. Yeah. And any more, which I completely understand and embrace, people's attention spans. If I'm applying for a composer job to a film that has been released on a public board, then they could have anywhere from dozens to hundreds of emails. You don't have enough time to find that next John Ottman or John Williams. So let me hammer you with what I can do so you can get a feel for my style and give you a little bit of diversity. And I'm, that was what my whole goal was in doing the most current one. Well...
There you go, everybody. Lance Warlock, and uh, that was Lance Warlock composing a mix of tunes that he uh, assembled for, uh, over the last uh, year.